Hello students, in this video we are going to see how to find the GCD of any two polynomials. So uh, this is very simple. First write the given polynomials as f of x and g of x. So what is f of x the first polynomial? 6x cube minus 30x square plus 60x minus 48. Then the second polynomial 3x cube minus 12x square plus 21x minus 18. So after this step you have to check is there any common factor for all the terms? Is there any factor for all the terms as common factor for f of x? Yes, all the terms will divide by 6. All the coefficients of the variables are multiples of 6. So take 6 as common factor. Then x cube, 5, 6 are 30. So 5x square, 10, 6 are 60. So plus 10x minus 8, 6 are 48. So like this, in this polynomial, in this polynomial, all the terms will divide by 3. So 3 as a common factor. x cube minus 4x square plus 7x minus 6. So 6 and so he, here we can find the GCD of 6 and 3 easily. But we have to find the GCD of these two polynomials. So we have to using division method. So when you are using the division to find the GCD of the polynomials, first you have to check the degree of the polynomial which in the in the two given polynomials which has greater degree should be the dividend should be the dividend which has smaller degree will be the divisor so here degree of the polynomials are same if the degree is same look at the coefficient coefficient also here one x cube one x cube coefficient same if the degree same coefficient same then come to the next coefficient of the next term here which has bigger coefficient which is big minus 5 or minus 4 yes minus 4 is bigger number so this polynomial should be the dividend x cube minus 4x square plus 7x minus 6 the another one will be the divisor x cube minus 5x square plus 10x minus 8. So remember you have to keep in your mind the polynomial in this two polynomial which has the greater degree the biggest degree will be the dividend. Here degrees are same if the degree are, degree are same look at their coefficient which has greater coefficient that should be the dividend but here degree is uh, coefficient is also same then come to the next term here which has big coefficient minus 4 so we are writing this polynomial as dividend okay then now the first term of the dividend should be divided by the first term of the divisor first term x cube here first term so this term should be divided by this term so 1 so write that quotient here then multiply this with this 1 with 1 with each term of the divisor 1 into x cube x cube 1 into minus 5x square minus 5x 1 into 10x 10x minus 8 then change the symbol then change the symbol plus becomes minus minus becomes plus plus become minus minus become plus now cancel plus x cube minus x cube will be cancelled 
then look at their symbols if the symbols are different if the symbols are different we have to subtract and we have to put big number sign if the symbols are same if the symbols are same here all the symbols are different if the symbols are same we have to add so here different so we have to subtract 5 minus 4 1 x square 5 minus 4 1 x square here also symbols are different so we have to subtract so 10 minus 7 3 big number symbol minus 3x here also different so we have to subtract 8 minus 6 2 big number symbol plus so now you look at look here this is the remainder this is the divisor so when the degree of the remainder comes less than the degree of the divisor immediately you have to you have to write this divisor as remainder as divisor then this divisor as dividend x cube minus 5x square plus 10x minus 8 now like this we have to divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor we divide we will get x so write that x then multiply this x with each term of the divisor as we have done here so 1 into x square x into x square x cube plus into minus minus 3x square plus 2 into x 2x then change the symbol plus become minus minus become plus plus become minus plus x cube minus x cube will be cancelled symbols are different so subtraction minus 2x square here symbols are different so subtraction plus 8x minus 8 minus this 8 then degrees are same not less than the the degree of the remainder is not less than the is not less than the degree of the divisor so we can continue the process so the first term of the is divided by this first term so minus 2 and minus 2 then multiply each term of the divisor by minus 2 minus 2 into x square minus 2 x square minus minus plus 3 into 2 sir 6x plus into minus minus 2 to sir 4 then change the symbol minus become plus plus become minus minus become plus minus 2x square plus 2x square will be cancelled symbols are different different means yes we have to subtract so 8x minus 6x plus 2x here also symbols are different different means we have to subtract minus 8 plus 4 minus 4 now look at the degree the degree of the remainder is less than the degree of the divisor so immediately we have to write the write this remainder as divisor this divisor as divided x square minus 3x plus 2 is there any common factor here 2 is a common factor so we can write like this x minus 2 so we can write x minus 2 here so if there is any common factor we have to take when we are writing this then the first term must be divided by the first term x square by x equal to x so x into x x square minus 2x minus plus become minus minus become plus plus x square minus x square will be cancelled symbols are different so subtraction minus x plus 2 then now degrees are same so we can continue the process so minus x the first term is divided by the first term minus 1 this minus 1 then multiply this minus 1 with each term of the minus x minus into minus plus 2 then we have to change the sign minus become plus 
plus become minus so plus x minus x plus 2 minus 2 will be cancelled remainder 0 we have to continue this process until we get the remainder is 0 so when the remainder is 0 what is the divisor x minus 2 x minus 2 so this x minus 2 is the gcd of these two polynomials so gcd of p of x and what is it f of x and g of x f of x and g of x is what is the gcd x minus 2 this x minus 2 is for this so what is the gcd of 6 and 3 3 is the gcd so 3x minus 2 is the gcd of the given polynomial f of x and g of x i hope you understood so you practice again and again definitely you can get the concept easily thank you